gosh, yeah, it was it was not a straight line. But I think the you know the big point is during that process the support I felt and just the the fact that I made it to the finish line and I'm going to continue improving um, is is what matters. And you know, again, it really is the community that I got from Talent Stacker that pushed me through to the certification and then pushed me through to really honing my interview skills before I, you know, was able to get a job. At my old organization, I was an end user of Salesforce, uh, admittedly, <laughs> and I tell people this because I think it's ironic, is I hated Salesforce uh, before I got here. Um, and partly is that, you know, there's a lot of data entry uh, in my past job and I had inherited um, some bad data uh, within our organization and had to constantly going back and, you know, fix the data. So I always, whenever I got told and we were, I worked for like a, a college access program, whenever I got told, hey, we have to enter transcripts, I would automatically, you know, associate that with Salesforce. And I'm like, God, I hate Salesforce because it represents this task that I hated. <laughs> um, but it wasn't until uh, my last year at that org that I'd heard about the admin side of things. And I heard through the Choose the Five podcast. And, you know, I'm a big believer in, you know, things happening for a reason. Uh, you know, you hear messages and, you know, you listen to things at the right time. And it's kind of up to you to make that decision whether you, you know, you go with it or you just kind of ignore it. And, you know, at that time, Again, I was an end user of Salesforce and hearing that podcast with Bradley, um, you know, really opened my eyes to Salesforce being a place to create systems, to create efficiencies. And I was doing it so informally with Excel sheets and Word documents. Um, but I was like, this is my shot to skill up and, you know, improve my career and improve my professional skills in ways that had stagnated over the past couple of years. Um, so for me, you know, I, I took the shot and just went with it. And, <laughs> I, you know, I think it was a bigger leap because I hated Salesforce. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I, after hearing Bradley speak about it, I think it changed my mind about the potential um, and that I, you know, it would be a challenge to kind of wrap myself around this and think about it in a more positive light. Um, but once I started on Trailhead, I think it just it took off from there. And I was like, this this is where all the growing can happen for me. You know, that concern of becoming, you know, um, plateauing in my career or plateauing professionally. You know, I don't think it would be reached for decades with how Salesforce moves. So, um, yeah, you know, it's an interesting question because, yeah, I hated Salesforce to begin with. And now I'm here, which is amazing. <laughs> Starting out, uh, I very much appreciate the pacing guides that the program provides um, around doing the trailhead uh, modules and, and projects and super badges that would allow you to get to the point where you can start studying for the exam. So I was still at my, my previous full-time role um, and every night spending about three to four hours just going through different trails, um, trying to get to the place where I could accomplish the super badges. Um, and again, as I mentioned, I had to take pauses. And I think that's something that maybe doesn't get addressed enough is that this process is tough um, and that this is hard. It's going not going to be easy. You know, it can very much be easy to see the successes and be like, wow, you know, if I just kind of coast along, uh, you know, I'll get there. But it really is difficult and especially for the folks that are in full-time positions it's even worse it's like even harder if, if i will say that so i had to take pauses transparently um kind of just checking on myself um make sure i was okay um but you know at the end of the day i think the big thing that brought me back into it um is the community that i had within talent stacker so the folks that i was connected with the folks that um you know, we're sharing similar sentiments or saying like, hey, I took a break and now I'm getting back on, on the path. And, you know, I've been, I've taken, you know, free courses online uh, through other, you know, websites to try to gain new skills. But I always found myself 
not completing them. <laughs> uh, and part of that was because things would come up in life um, and it would cause me to pause and I would never come back to it. Um, partly because I forgot about it and partly because there wasn't anything pushing me to go back to it. Um, but I think the difference here for me was one, it was amazing to be learning all these new things in a really, you know, friendly environment. And then two, you know, the, as I said, the town stack community put me in a place where I could feel motivated and feel like, Hey, this is not something I'm doing alone. And I can reach out if I need to, um, which I did on multiple, multiple of those times where I felt like I was at a low, um, not only during you know, the pre certification process, but especially during the interview process, the interview process for me was a lot of highs and lows. Um, the lows being the waiting game of waiting back from uh, folks that were interviewing or folks that were um, getting back about interviews. It was preparing for the interviews that I really wanted. I really wanted that job and just the anxiety and the mental health pieces to all of that. Um, but, you know, during that whole process, I had over 15 people that I could reach out to um, and be very transparent about like, hey, this is this is rough. <laughs> um, this is a lot for me right now. And, you know, I can't tell you how amazing it was that there was a few folks that would just hype me up throughout the week. I was just like, hey, you got this. This is incredible. Like, you, you know, you're great at this. You know, this is your role. Like you're going to grab you're going to get this. Um, and they were so helpful throughout the process. My process for my interview process was quite long, um, but for this job specifically, it moved in a way that I couldn't imagine. I didn't know interview processes could move this quick, but uh, I woke up on a, on a Wednesday thinking I was just having a first round interview. Um, I interviewed with the chief business officer and just had like an incredible conversation. Um, you know, both about the company, which is an ed tech company, uh, and it merges, you know, part of my background, which is the nonprofit mission driven background, but also this business ops um, path that I'm interested in. Um, so we just had a really great conversation about some of the ideas that I had coming in and, you know, where they want to take their Salesforce instance. Um, and, you know, I just fell in love with the company. I knew it was a contract to hire a position, uh, but for me, you know, they've what from what I had heard from other recruiter or the recruiters that have worked with this company is, you know, that's just the way they do things is, you know, they uh, bring people on on contract to see if they fit. And, you know, within two or three months, um, they convert them over to hire. Um, and it's a pretty common thing to happen. It's not something that they're like, you know, hey, we're just gonna do contract after contract after contract. So I felt pretty confident going into the process um, that, you know, I could tell it was a good fit for both me and the company or, or the organization. And, um, you know, I talked with the Salesforce admin at the current, uh, who was currently there later on in the day. And then <laughs> within four and a half hours, I somehow had an offer and, uh, I just couldn't believe, um, that, you know, that process could move so quick, but, um, also that someone could want you, um, in that capacity and want you to be on their team so badly that, you know, they're willing to move forward that fast. But I think it it really speaks to just how fast moving the Salesforce career space is, I feel. Um, you know, I had friends within Talent Stacker that um, applied to things and, you know, had job offers within a couple of days. And I thought that was unreal. <laughs> so it's just been incredible to be a part of that process. So I went very solo at the beginning um, and you know, I, I went solo all the way up until I studied for my exam pretty much. And I failed my first exam. <laughs> um, but it was after that, that, you know, my first study group formed out of four folks that all failed their first exam and wanted a group, uh, wanted another sub community, if you will. And, you know, that group was so invaluable and we met pretty much every day up until our, our exams and were rooting for each other and broke down concepts for each other in ways that I just, hadn't done before um and you know got certified and then out of the blue you know i reached out to someone saying like hey i see you you know you're worried about this interview like let's do interview prep and then from there you know now we have a group of three that 
we talk all the time about inter like when we were interviewing about interview prep and then now it's about hey what's going on in our jobs and i think gosh this has been invaluable and i've, I've always come from a background of you know pull each other up and once you get to a place of success we have to reach back and support mm -hmm. um and that's it's funny because at the beginning i i didn't contribute much at all because i didn't know how to but now you know i'm always trying to if if i can uh time wise you know reach out to folks and offer up ideas or thoughts because you know i think that's partly how i've got here right you know folks when i was new contributed and you know gave me insight and gave me perspective in ways that now i can do um so i think it's just like this uh, uh, like ongoing cycle of just new people coming in, you know, returning folks, you know, giving insights and, you know, perspective, and it just keeps going like that, which is incredible. Going into the program, you know, there obviously is a financial component to the program, right? You have to essentially invest in your future, right? Um, but I, you know, for me, it was, I believe in this program and what it can do. And, you know, now it's a testament to that, that I've got to this place. But, you know, when I was deciding to sign up for the program, you know, between the backing of Chooseify and, you know, that being a very trusted space that I've, I've been in, um, I said, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to invest in this. I'm going to invest in the program, but I'm also going to be mainly investing in myself. Um, and part of that is it is now going to motivate me to really be fully immersed in this experience. Um, to really go for it. And again, a lot of highs and lows along the way and questioning just like, am I going to get there? Um, but, you know, sure enough, people were able to help me pull through. And, you know, in this current role, um, again, <laughs> I was at another nonprofit before this and felt, you know, really undervalued when it came to compensation and just my overall skills. Um, but now, you know, I'm making, I think it's 40% more than I was making at my previous role. And now I'm able to save half my income a month, which I just found that figured out that number yesterday that, you know, half my income can now be put towards savings goals and towards my future. And, you know, just lead to better financial security in ways that I thought was going to take me a lot longer to get to, to, to be honest. Um, but yeah, I mean, to say is it's worth it is an understatement to me, um, mainly because this is something, this is a uh, place in my career that I just didn't think I would get to financially um, and just skills wise. You know, I think my skills have also just improved immensely um, from this. You know, I've been in conversations about um, business and sales that I would have never been in a year ago. Um, and I had like an epiphany moment when I was in one of those calls i'm like you all are talking to me like i'm a you know a very experienced professional and that's something that I, I aspire to be and it's so incredible to feel so respected in that space um and i think it's a testament to just in that eight months that i was with the program like how much i've been able to learn and how much i've been able to just feel more natural natural in these spaces that i wouldn't have felt again eight months ago so yeah definitely worth it and Again, just skills wise, financial wise, it's just I'm in places that I didn't expect to be for, you know, quite some time.